Hello everyone, we will continue that topic types as a part of ABAP OOPS and in the previous video we discussed, yes, types is a part or component of the class and the interface itself. We have a dedicated tab types as a part of class and the interface and the purpose of types tab is to define and manage the data types. Data types means we will go for structure type, we will go for table type, etc. In the previous video, we have taken one requirement as a part of that. We have one class, we have one method in the class, and we have one importing and exporting parameter. Our importing parameter is a range table, range table of sales order. It means we have sign, option, low and high. Our output is also a internal table of seven columns. Now, previously what we did, we cannot declare a structure type here using the types because there is no provision to write a code here. So at that time, what we did, we created the structure type and table type using the SC11 transaction code and we used here. But now we have a provision here also. Yes, we have a dedicated tab types. So rather than going for SC11, we will use this dedicated tab. Anyways, both ways are right. No way is wrong. Ultimately, it is totally your wish how you want to achieve the requirement. But we are covering that topic types so that everyone can understand how we can use this dedicated tab types also. So using this dedicated tab types, we declared our structure type. We declared our table type. Yes. And for this importing and exporting parameter, we use this table type, which we declared. This is our, this is our table type, which we declared in this type step. This is our table type, which we declared in this type step. We have not created using SC11 transaction code. Now we will proceed further and we will write the logic in the method. And while writing the logic in the method also, whatever the structure type, table types will be there. We will not write in the code here. We will not write here in the code itself. We will use this dedicated tab types and you will realize how the readability and reusability of the code will increase. Because if some dedicated tab is there, some dedicated area is there, we will use that particular tab to declare our structure type and table types. So I will go for the code. I will go for the method, sorry, and we will write the code. So firstly, we will fetch the data from VBAK table, then we will fetch the data from VBAP, and then we will pass the data to this output internal table. Now, suppose from VBAK table, we are fetching the data of four column. It means I will declare a structure type of four column, then I will create one internal table. So how we are doing always previously, I will declare one structure type begin of LTY underscore VBAK VBELN type VBELN underscore VA ER dat type ER dat ERZET type ERZET ER now type ER now now we will end this particular structure now I will declare internal table and work area. Suppose I'm writing LT underscore VBAK type table of LTY underscore VBAK. I will declare work area LWA VBAK type LTY underscore VBAK. Same way I will go for VBAP. Firstly, we will go for the same way, which we are always doing previously. Then I will come on to type tab. Now I will create one structure type for VBAP. 
Now from VBAP, we are taking Postnar and Matera. What is best way? Always you can open a table in a new session and copy paste. It will make your task easy. I remember the data element, so I'm just writing in that way. Yes. So in VBAP structure, VBELN is common between VBAK and VBAP. So I will take that. Now I will go for post. For post now, that data element is this. And for Matena, that data element is this. I will end this particular structure type also. Now I will declare internal table and work area for VBAP. This is our internal table and this is our work area. Now I will write the logic. Firstly, we are doing in the same way, which we are always doing. I will write select VBELN, ERDAT, ERZED, ERNA. Will fetch from VBAP table. I will store into internal table. And now I will go for where condition. Where VBELN, I need to use in because our input is a range. Input is a select option. Now we will write if. First internal table is not initial. Now I will write the query from VBAP. From VBAP, we will take three columns. VBELN, Postnar, Matena. From which table? VBAP into table, internal table. What is internal table? LT underscore VBAP. You all know we are using for all entries in first internal table where VBELN is equal to first internal table VBELN. So first internal table VBELN will act as an input for VBAP table VBELN. So our data is in this two internal table. From this two internal table, we will fill this internal table, which is our output parameter. Now to fill this internal table, I will write append work area to internal table. It means I need to declare work area. How we are going for work area? Work area type structure type. Do we already have a structure type of six columns? Yes, we already declared using the types tab. If I will double click on to this table type, this table type we declared using type step. This is table type we declared using type step. This is our table type and this is our structure. This is our structure type. So we'll simply declare work area type structure type. This is always we are doing this. So now I will declare the work area. I will write data. LWA output type. And this, this structure type we declared using that type step is. Now I will go for loop. Loop at first internal table into first work area. For every loop, there is an end loop. Now I will put a loop on VBAP. Yes, compulsory VBAP will go for loop because for one sales order number, we have multiple records in VBAP. Loop at LTVBAP into LWA VBAP. Where VBELN is equal to first work area VBELN. 
Yes, whenever we have nested loops, we need to go for parallel cursor. Anyways, in this video, I will not go for parallel cursor. You can simply learn parallel cursor and apply because in case of nested loops, we should apply parallel cursor for best performance. Now I will go for passing that data to final work area. That is our LWA output VBELN. It is from first work area. Control D to duplicate four, five, six. Now I will change. ER dead. ER said ET. ER num. This is our post not. And this is our mapping. This is our ER dat. This is our ER ZET. This is our ER num. This is our post NAR, but post NAR is from VBA. And this is our mapping. Now I will write append. Append work area to internal table. What is our internal table? Output internal table TR. I will clear the work area. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now this is what we are always doing and we are always writing the logic in this way. Yes. Now our topic is types. Yes. It means whatever the structure type, whatever the structure type we declared. Yes. We will declare using the type tab itself. So you can see if this much code is shifted to the type tab. So readability of the code will automatically increase. Man man your maintenance of the code will become automatically easy. We have a dedicated tab and whenever topic will proceed, you will realize it is reusable also. The reason reusability of the code will automatically increase. Suppose as of now, I will simply simply comment this from here. I will copy. Suppose I will firstly copy, I will comment. Now I will declare this in the type tab. I will go for yes. Now this is our type tab. Now I will simply write LTYBBAK public. I will simply go to this button. Yes. You can see SAP automatically provided this type. We will replace control V done. I will apply pretty printer. Done. I will activate. Now similar process I will do for VBAP. Now I will go to logic. Now this one I remove because now it's commented. Commented when I removed, I'll just copy this. Why I'm commenting? It should not be the case. It is not copied. I deleted from here. Yes, sir. So I'm firstly just commenting. Then I will delete. Yes. I will go to type tab. Now I will write LTYVBA. It's also a public. I will go to this button. Yes. And now I will simply replace this. I will apply pretty printer. I will activate. Yes. We'll activate everything. Now I will go to the method. 
Now I will simply delete this part also. And you can see the readability of the code is increasing. Yes, because whatever the structure types are there, we declared in the dedicated types tab. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we continued the topic types. We have written the logic into this particular method. Previously, what we are doing into this particular method, we are declaring structure type. We are going for internal table work areas and we are writing the logic. Now we have a dedicated tab there. So in that dedicated tab itself, I declared the structure types and I'm using those structure types in the code. See, these all structure types we declared in the types tab and I'm using into this particular method. So readability of the code is automatically increasing. In the next video, whenever we will proceed, you will realize with the help of this approach, whenever we have structure type and table type, dedicated in one tab, we can simply, simply reuse also. Reusability of the code is increasing and simple maintenance of the code is very easy because you have a dedicated area where you have all the structure type and table types. So maintenance of the code also becomes easy. So in the next video, we will proceed. We will call this method inside the program and then again, new learnings will come. So that's it in this video. Thank you.